Hey there, royal folks. Welcome to another episode of Untold Royal Secrets. Alrighty now, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive deep into the royal drama that just keeps on giving. It's your favorite neighborhood critic here, and boy, oh boy, do I have a juicy scoop for you today. We're talking about none other than the dynamic duo, the power couple that's been shaking up the monarchy faster than you can say, tea and crumpets, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. So now, before we get into the nitty-gritty, let me just say this. I've seen my fair share of celebrity scandals, but these two, they're in a league of their own folks. We're talking about a Hollywood actress and a British prince. It's like a real-life fairy tale, except this Cinderella seems to have a penchant for stirring up more trouble than magic. So, what's the latest tea being spilled? Well, hold on to your fascinators because royal expert Tom Bauer has just dropped a bombshell that's got everyone from Buckingham Palace to Beverly Hills buzzing. According to our man Tom, Meghan Markle might just be sitting on a goldmine of a memoir. That's right, a tell-all book that could make Spare look like a bedtime story. Now, let's break this down, shall we? Tom Bauer, for those of you who might not know, is no stranger to royal gossip. He's like the Sherlock Holmes of the monarchy, always sniffing out the next big scandal. And boy, does he think he's found a doozy this time. According to Bauer, Meghan's potential memoir could be a game-changer. We're talking about a book that could rival Harry Potter in sales and Game of Thrones in drama. Can you imagine? The secrets, the scandals, the behind-the-scenes look at life and the royal family, it's enough to make even the queens gorgeous, sit up and take notice. But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. Bauer says that while this book could be a massive payday for the Sussexes, it could also be the final nail in the coffin of their relationship with the royal family. I mean, talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. Or in this case, between a crown and a fortune. Now I know what you're thinking, but wait, didn't Harry just release his own tell book? Isn't this overkill? Oh my sweet summer child, in the world of celebrity gossip, there's no such thing as overkill. Besides, according to Bauer, Megan's got a very, very vivid imagination. Translation, this book could make Spare look like a church pamphlet. But let's take a step back for a moment and look at the bigger picture. How did we get here? How did a successful actress from Suits end up being the biggest thorn in the side of the British monarchy since, well, ever? According to our man Bauer, it all started with Meghan's acting career. Now, I'm not one to throw shade, but let's just say that before she became the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan's IMDb page wasn't exactly setting Hollywood on fire. Bauer claims that Meghan initially came to London to boost her acting career. I mean, can you blame her? Who wouldn't want to trade in a supporting role on a cable TV show for a starring role in the greatest show on earth, the British royal family? But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. Bauer suggests that Meghan has made quite the transformation, from actress to royal to entrepreneur. It's like she's playing a real-life game of career Tetris, and let me tell you she's racking up those points. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, wait, isn't writing a tell memoir kind of tacky? And to that I say, welcome to the 21 cent century, darling. In today's world, if you haven't aired your dirty laundry in a best-selling book, are you even famous? But here's the kicker. Bauer thinks that despite all this talk of a memoir, it might not actually happen. I know, I know, it's like dangling a juicy steak in front of us and then snatching it away. But according to Bauer, Macon and Harry are ready to move on and focus on their future. They want to create meaning and importance, separate from their past lives. Now, I don't know about you, but when I hear meaning and importance, I think of things like curing cancer or solving world hunger. But hey, who am I to judge? Maybe launching a podcast and giving inspirational speeches is the new saving the world. But let's get real for a second here, folks. This whole situation is like a soap opera on steroids. We've got family drama, we've got culture clashes, we've got money, power, and a dash of Hollywood glamour. It's like the crown meets, keeping up with the Kardashians, and I, for one, am here for it. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, isn't this all a bit much? Shouldn't we leave them alone? And to that I say, oh honey, where's the fun in that? Besides, let's be honest, Meghan and Harry aren't exactly shying away from the limelight, are they? I mean, think about it. They left the royal family for privacy, right? And how did they celebrate their newfound freedom? With a tell-all interview with Oprah, of course. Because nothing says we want to be left alone, like spilling your guts to one of the most famous talk show hosts in the world. But let's give credit where credit is due. Meghan and Harry have managed to turn their royal exit into a full-blown empire. We're talking Netflix deals, Spotify podcasts, charitable foundations. These two are busier than a one-armed wallpaper hanger. And you've got to admire their hustle, right? I mean, they've taken the classic famous for being famous model and elevated it to an art form. They're like the Mona Lisa of modern celebrity. 
No matter where you go, their eyes seem to follow you. But here's the thing that really gets me, folks. For all their talk of wanting a normal life, Macon and Harry seem to be doing everything in their power to stay in the spotlight. It's like they're playing a game of royal chicken with the media, always threatening to spill more tea, always hinting at more revelations. And you know what? It's working. Here we are, hanging on their every word, dissecting their every move. They got us all wrapped around their little finger, and I've got to say, I'm kind of impressed. But let's talk about this potential memoir for a second. If Megan does decide to put pen to paper, or more likely hire a ghostwriter to do it for her, what can we expect? Well, if Tom Bauer is to be believed, we're in for one wild ride. First of all, let's consider the source. Megan Markle, a woman who went from Hollywood to Highgrove, from red carpets to royal protocols. Can you imagine the stories she could tell? The culture shocks, the behind-the-scenes drama, the royal family's reaction to an American divorcee in their midst. It's like the Princess Diaries meets House of Cards. And let's not forget, Megan's got a flair for the dramatic. I mean, this is a woman who managed to turn a royal wedding into a global spectacle. Can you imagine what she could do with a whole book at her disposal? We're talking chapters with titles like The Tara Tussle and Curtsygate, the scandal that rocked the palace. But here's where it gets really interesting, folks. According to Bauer, Macon has a very, very vivid imagination. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like Cove would take this with a grain of salt. Are we going to be getting cold, hard facts, or are we in for the royal equivalent of based on a true story? And let's not forget the potential fallout from this book. If Megan does decide to spill all the tea, you can bet your bottom dollar that the royal family isn't going to take it lying down. We could be looking at the biggest family feud since the Hatfields and McCoys. But here's the thing. Even if this book never sees the light of day, the mere possibility of it is enough to keep us all on the edge of our seats. It's like Megan and Harry have discovered the secret to perpetual relevance. Just keep hinting at revelations and never actually reveal anything. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, isn't this all a bit calculated? And to that I say, welcome to the world of modern celebrity. In today's age of social media and 24 7 news cycles, if you're not controlling the narrative, someone else will do it for you. And let's be real, Macon and Harry have been playing this game like pros. They've managed to turn their royal exit into a brand, their struggles into sympathy, and their every move into headline news. It's like they've taken the royal playbook and rewritten it for the Instagram age. But here's where it gets really fascinating, folks. Despite all the drama, despite all the headlines, despite all the towel interviews and potential memoirs, Macon and Harry still managed to present themselves as the victims in all this. It's a masterclass in PR spin, and I've got to say, I'm kind of in awe. I mean, think about it. They've managed to paint themselves as both the underdogs fighting against the system and the power couple taking on the world. They're simultaneously the rebels and the establishment, the outsiders and the ultimate insiders. It's like they're playing both sides of the chessboard, and somehow, they're winning. But let's talk about the potential consequences of this memoir for a second. If Megan does decide to bear all, what does that mean for her relationship with the royal family? I mean, we're talking about an institution that still hasn't quite figured out how to handle divorce, let alone tell all books. And what about Harry? Poor guy's already spilled his guts in spare, and now he might have to watch his wife do the same. Talk about airing your dirty laundry in public. The royal family's dirty laundry could fill a whole laundromat at this point. But here's the thing that really gets me, folks. For all the talk of moving on and focusing on the future, Megan and Harry seem to be spending an awful lot of time rehashing the past. It's like they're stuck in a perpetual cycle of reliving their royal drama, always looking back instead of forward. And you've got to wonder, at what point does it stop being about telling their truth and start being about cashing in on their royal connections? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm all for a good scandal, but even I'm starting to feel a bit of royal fatigue here. But let's be real for a second, can we really blame them? I mean, if you had the kind of insider knowledge that Megan and Harry have, wouldn't you be tempted to cash in too? It's like they've been handed the keys to the kingdom, literally, and now they're figuring out how to turn that into cold, hard cash. And let's not forget, folks, this is show business. Macon might have traded in her acting career for a Tyra, but she's never stopped performing. Every interview, every public appearance, every carefully crafted statement, it's all part of the show. And we the public are the eager audience, always hungry for more. But here's where it gets really interesting. According to Bauer, despite all this talk of memoirs and tell-alls, Macon and Harry are actually ready to move on. They want to create meaning and importance, separate from their past lives. And I've got to say, I'm intrigued. I mean, what does meaning and importance look like for a couple who've already been to the top of the royal mountain? Are we talking charitable work, political ambitions, 
a reality TV show? Please let it be a reality TV show. But here's the kicker, folks. Even as they talk about moving on, Megan and Harry can't seem to escape their royal past. It's like they're trapped in a gilded cage of their own making, always defined by their relationship to the monarchy, even as they try to break free from it. And you've got to wonder, is this really what they wanted when they decided to step back from royal duties? Did they envision a life of constant speculation of always being one step away from the next big scandal? Or did they genuinely believe they could forge a new path, free from the constraints of royal life? The truth is, we may never know. But one thing's for sure, as long as Meghan and Harry keep dangling the carrot of royal revelations in front of us, we'll keep coming back for more. It's like the world's most addictive soap opera, and we're all hooked. So, what's next for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Will Meghan write that tell-all memoir? Will Harry pen a sequel to Spare, maybe call it the Spare's Spare? Or will they surprise us all and retreat from the public eye, focusing on their family and their future? Only time will tell, folks. But one thing's for certain, wherever Meghan and Harry go, whatever they do, you can bet your bottom dollar that we'll all be watching. Because in the end, that's what this is all about, isn't it? The spectacle, the drama, the endless fascination with royalty and celebrity. And let's be honest, we love it. We eat it up. We can't get enough of it. It's like a car crash we can't look away from, except this car crash involves tiaras and titles and tea with the Queen. So here's to Meghan and Harry, the royal rebels, the headline makers, the masters of modern celebrity. Love them or hate them, you got to admit, they sure know how to keep us entertained. And in today's world, isn't that what really matters? As for me, your friendly neighborhood critic, I'll be right here, ready to dissect every move, analyze every statement, and speculate wildly about every possible scenario. Because let's face it, in the grand soap opera of life, Macon and Harry are the gift that keeps on giving. So stay tuned. Folks, something tells me this royal drama is far from over. In fact, I bet my favorite fascinator that we're just getting started. After all, in the world of Macon and Harry, the only thing we can expect is the unexpected. And with that, I'll leave you with this thought. In a world where everyone's vying for their 15 minutes of fame, Macon and Harry have managed to turn their 15 minutes into a lifetime. Now that's what I call a royal flush. This is your favorite neighborhood critic signing off. Until next time, keep calm and carry on gossiping.